Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin. It's not Dre. Today, we're going to do a What You Need to Know Right Now style reading. So, Sagittarius, oh, shiz, Nick. Wow, let's see what you need to know right now. Let's get into your reading. We have Chaos and Conflict. That's not the card we want today. All right, let's talk about this chaos, this conflict. Let's see if it's coming to an end. Let's see if it already happened. Let's see if it's coming through. Let's talk about this and see what you need to know right now. So, Dre. Let's chat. Saji, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one, the link is in the description box below. And just remember, Saji, my readings are $30 Canadian, and I send them in three to five business days, not calendar, business days. Okay, let's get into this. The Four of Pentacles in Reverse is what you need to know right now. Someone's acting a little bit selfish. The Four of Pentacles in Reverse is a very selfish kind of energy. What's under the Six of Wands here? Lovers. Could be a relationship, could be a friendship, or it could just be an energy of having to make the best decision for yourself. But there's a lot, uh, you're giving a lot of attention to this energy here, but there's a lot of positive energy around it. We have the Three of Cups and Six of Wands. So let's see what's going on. What's this Four of Pentacles energy here for Sag? It could just be an energy of releasing and, and learning from this selfishness or, hey man, Ooh, you might have felt attacked here. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, we have the Hanged Man, Queen of, uh, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a very selfish energy. And there's the Knight of Pentacles. There's the Fool. Um, there's a little bit of a clash here. So, Saj, what you need to know right now um, is it's time to, it's, they really want you to learn from this. Have patience. Uh, maybe patience with yourself, patience with this person. I do feel you're leaving something behind. There's the lovers. It very well could be a relationship. There's the judgment. Big life. The judgment and the lover, you're making a big decision here. And this decision might be creating some chaos in your life or around other people. Uh, maybe there's someone being selfish and doesn't understand your choice and your decision. They don't support it. This is, to me, the hanged man and the queen of pentacles in reverse is a feminine energy. It could be a mother, could just be a friend, a lover, you know, someone in their feminine energy here um, who's projecting their, their, their frustration on you because the hanged man is an energy of being attacked, um, especially, it, so it's like someone's being insecure, someone's being petty and they're projecting that on you and they're kind of attacking you, coming at you here. You got a little bit of hostile energy in the motherfucking house um, and with this page of swords and I feel like it's an energy of kind of learning from that. I always turn to Hermes. We all know this as within, so without, right? When people act this way, they're just projecting their bullshit onto you. Um, it's your choice to let them or to not let them. But they are being very selfish. This person's acting out of selfish intentions. They're not really considering you. Um, and what do we need to know about this page of swords? Why is this page of swords here? He's just kind of looking into space here. And I got like six different messages with him, but none of them vibe. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Well, so what is it? Clarify. You got to do what makes you happy. Yeah. You got to choose yourself and you got to do what makes you happy. And people who are in your corner are going to support you. Um, maybe this person's not in your corner, but whatever it is here, um, there's a big decision. There's a page of cups. So there's a big decision in your life here that you're made or about to make, Sag, and not everybody is going to support that. Um, but they're just in they're just projecting their insecurities onto you. So just be aware of that, but be aware that they're acting a little selfish here and they don't have your best intentions at heart. Um, so let's progress and see how this goes forward because the three of cups, that's how it's going to affect you. And the Three of Cups is focusing on your kindred, friends, family, uh, the souls and the spirits around you who do support you, who are positive, um, who are in a less than hostile uh, attitude. It's also an energy of counting your blessings, being thankful that this person showed you this side of themselves. You know what? I'm glad I know this now. You're definitely not in my corner. You're not supporting me here. You know, um, what else do you want to say about that Three of Cups here for Saj? Yeah. Judgment, making the, yeah, the devil, whoa. Yeah, but it hurts though, okay. There's a king of cups, could be a water sign, cancel score. Whoa, there's an emperor, there's a seven of pentacles. So, oh, one more, there's the queen of wands, there's you. Um, but this is someone that you respect, this is someone that you value, this is someone's opinion who means something to you, Sag. So it can be difficult, especially if it's like a mother or father figure or a family figure or just someone that you highly respect. Um, to see their toxic ways. I don't know how else to say that. The judgment in the devil for me is just recognizing the, the, the toxic elements within that person, the healing that they need to do, and just basing your opinions on you. Not what they say, not what they do, especially if they're projecting their insecurities, projecting some bullshit into your subconscious. It's just making the decision to see and accept this person for exactly who they are because you can't change it. Um, and you can't, when you're focusing on that, um, then you're going to get caught up in that frequency, caught up in that energy, caught up in that hostility. And that's what, that's the, that's the point of the reading is to go to the three of cups and see the cups and the opportunities outside of this person in this situation. 
accept them for who they are. There's a little bit of a toxic uh, element to this person um, and they're definitely projecting it onto you. So it's just getting into that principle of appreciation and focusing on the blessings and the beautiful things that you do have in your life. And there's a the fool in reverse. So um, why is the fool in reverse? This is your actions to take or advice that you need to hear. So let's just, yeah, don't let them hold you back. Uh, there's the eight of wands. Don't let this person's opinions, th there's the queen of cups. Again, there's the eight of pentacles. I kind of feel like the queen of cups is you here, Sag, focusing on your intuition, your heart, staying cool as a cucumber, not letting this person affect you. This is not, this is not letting them hold you back. Okay. Don't let this person stop you from going after what you want, doing what you want, making you feel bad about yourself, affecting the way you feel about yourself, any of that bullshit. Um, this is an energy of just moving forward with your life um, and not letting them hold you back and stop you from, from living to your fullest potential, right? Um, there's the eight of pentacles, working hard, mastering your craft, discipline. So I feel like it's an energy of just disciplining yourself and just distancing yourself. You don't have to burn bridges or remove people from your life. Maybe you do. That's your decision. Not everybody we need to. Some people, oh, fuck it, we need to. Just close the door, get the fuck out of here. Um, but it's also an energy of knowing the difference and when you need to, need to do that and not. This person's definitely going to hold you back if you let them. And they don't want you to. They want you to continue to move forward. You're trusting your intuition. You're doing the right thing. When you come from your heart and your intuition, you will never be led astray. It's when we get into this hostile, this selfish, this projective energy that we can be led astray um, and treat people and treat ourselves in, in manners that don't benefit us. So this is just staying disciplined. This is just trusting yourself. This is continuing to go on this path. You're making the right decisions. You're moving in the right directions. You will be successful here. So don't let them hold you back. That's kind of the whole point of this reading, Saj. So... That's what you need to know right now. So let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say, baby. We'll get back to the tarot. What's the spirit animal message here for Sagittarius? Coyote, playfulness. Okay. This is a reminder not to take things too seriously. And sometimes these hostile people. <laughs> um, and bring more balance between wisdom and playfulness. So you might need to lighten up about a matter that was on your mind for a while. I feel it's just letting that go and progressing forward. But I do feel this person was important to you. And so it's difficult when people we value uh, don't value us. But it, yeah, there it is. Surrender to what is. So flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it as it is will bring you peace. Just focusing on the things that you can change, which is you. <laughs> um, all right, let's see what else you need to know right now. Spirit guys, what else you want to say to Sad J today? Talk to us. The Knight of Swords. It's on the page of wands. Whoa. A lot of, little, a lot of shit going on in these three cards here. Okay, so the page of pentacles, the Knight of Swords, page of wands. <laughs> three court cards just popped its way out. Justice. Yeah, making the best decision for yourself. Justice is, again, also that honor. Justice is very fair, very ethical, very moral. It's very honorable. Um, he, he holds the Ace of Swords, which is the sort of truth, the sort of clarity, the sort of honesty. But this is really on a spiritual or consciousness level, understanding principle, cause, and effect. Every choice you make will have a positive or negative consequence in your life, and it's about making the choices that have positive consequences. There's the past. There's this person kind of staring you down, looking at you, and you're like, you know what? I, I hear you. I feel you. I see you. But this is my life and I'm going to do what makes me happy. Um, and I feel you're just letting this person know you're moving on. You can come with me, buddy, girl, bro, mom, dad, papa bear, mama bear, grandma bear, grandma bear, whoever the fuck this is. You can come with me or don't. But those are your choices. This is the direction I'm going. This is the path I'm heading in. I'd love for you to be on this train with me, right? That's the feeling that I get. It's like what you're saying to this person. But if you don't support me, I'm not going to I'm not going to let you stop me. Um, so it's kind of like this energy of just letting them know that you would like them in your life. You would like them to support you. But if they don't, you're just going to continue to move on your way and go down this path. You're not, you're no, the, the Knight of Swords is a pursuit of excellence. He's a, he's very ambitious. He's in the, he's on a mission. And nothing's going to stop him from that mission. Um, and with this page of wands and this Knight of Swords, it's kind of like you telling this person, this is the path I'm heading down. My decision's made. It is that simple. Argue with me if you want, but I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm not going to let you affect my opinion. For some of you, I feel like this is a fam familial thing, but not for everyone. There's a fool. There. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, jump up to, you see that? Standing up for yourself, making it very clear, going down this path is the right decision to make. They can come with you or not. That's their choice. Um, but you're going to stand your ground here, Sag. You're going to go after this. You're making the right decisions. It's going to be successful. It's going to work out great. And whether they come with you is going to be their decision or not. Um, and there's the nine of wands. So you're a little hurt by it. And there's the seven of cups. And, you know, again, this, the nine of wands and the seven of cups is confusion by somebody's actions. And it's just a reflection of them. It's not a reflection of you. It could be their fears, their worries, their insecurities coming out on you. And this is kind of an energy of just protecting yourself. 
and not letting it affect you. And that's what you need to know right now. <laughs> so Sag, that's what I got. That's what's up. That's what's going down. So Sagittarius, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe because it helps my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support, Saji. I do want to close your reading off today with a final message. What's the final message here for Sagittarius? If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. So forgive yourself for yesterday's mistakes and practice gratitude in the present moment. Number 11. We start this with 33 um, and then 11. So definitely master builder. Definitely creating and building something for yourself here, Sag. And that's what I got. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.